Hi guys, it's Stock Curry, and man, am I exhausted. I have just spent my entire Saturday watching YouTube videos from the top 10 YouTubers so that you don't have to. I have just watched over 20 videos from the top 10 YouTubers, and now I'm going to give you the cliff notes on all 20 videos. You're going to get every single stock pick from the top 10 YouTubers in this one video. And I've got to tell you, we've got more stocks to cover today than I've ever covered in a single video before. So I'm not going to waste any time. But before we get to them, I do have some really important things we've got to talk about. First of all, thank you to everyone. We just hit 20,000 subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. We've been doing this seven weeks and we're already at 20,000 subscribers. I am blown away. I am so appreciative of everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Thank you all so much. I really, really appreciate you guys. Second thing I want to talk about is in today's video, I'm going to give you my stock pick. I was going to wait until tomorrow, but then as I was watching the videos today, another YouTuber actually mentioned it. So I'm not going to wait. I want to get it to you guys today in today's video. Next thing I want to talk about is I am working with Zip Trader. I'm going to try to get you guys a special rate on his uh, trading course called Zip Trader U. So I'm going to try to get you guys a special rate on that. I'm, I'm working with him now to make that happen. I want you guys to get the training that you guys need to be successful in the stock market. I know there's a lot of new investors on this channel. A lot of you have been reaching out to me, asking me if I have some sort of course, some sort of books to read, something to help you guys out. And so I want to let you guys know that I'm working with ZipTrader to make that happen for you. The next thing is really, really important, and that is scammers galore. Oh my gosh, we have been bombarded with scammers almost every single day on this channel. So if you see anything like this where somebody has the name Stock Curry and they're not highlighted, okay, it's not me. If they mention YouTube, if they mention contact my trader or contact me or anything like that. It's a scam. Do not contact them. I do not have a free ebook for you. I do not have a financial advisor to refer you to. I do not even have a WhatsApp. Do not contact them. It is a scam. They will steal your money. I know because some of you guys have actually contacted them. So I'm asking you if you did, just end all communication right now. Delete them from your WhatsApp. Don't talk to them. I'm not on WhatsApp. I will never contact you in that way. Okay? So please, please, please be careful and do not fall into the trap of these scammers. I am trying to delete their comments, but we're getting 100 to 200 comments a day. It takes me hours to delete them all. I have tried to work with YouTube to come up with a solution, but there just aren't any good solutions right now. So... Hopefully YouTube's working on it and, and they can get this problem solved soon. But for now, they're going to hit you guys up in the comments and just don't respond to them. Don't talk to them. Just ignore them, report them. Also, if you even want to comment and say, hey, this guy's a scammer, that might help out so some of the new guys don't fall into it. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right. The final thing I want to talk about before we get to today's stock picks is this. It was a tough week for a lot of people. A lot of people lost money this week. I lost money this week. I had... The first down week that I've had since I started this channel seven weeks ago, I was down quite a bit this week. And I got to tell you, after today's down week, I'm only up 140% for the year. I mean, come on, guys. You got to put things in perspective, right? I was down like 12, 13% this week, but I'm still up 140% for the year. I mean, that's amazing. So please, if you guys, you're seeing these stocks go down like 10, 20%, and sometimes you forget they've already run up 200% on the year. So you, you got to put these pullbacks in, in perspective. You know, these little tiny market corrections, these little stock corrections, little price corrections, they're normal. They're healthy. You need these pullbacks every once in a while. And when a pullback happens, I always tell you guys, save a little bit of cash so that when these pullback happen, you can jump in and you can start buying up stocks. Uh, Richard Allen said earlier today that he was pretty much out of cash because he's been doing so much buying over the past few days. 
I'm in the exact same boat. I'm out of cash. I have been buying up everything. I've got no cash left. So all YouTubers agree here that this past week was the week to buy. You know, like we said, you got to buy low and sell high. In order to buy low and sell high, it's a two-step process. And step one is buy low. So on a week like we've had, buy low was the name of the game. Good news is we've got a ton of stocks you can buy low next week. Today, we're going to go over all the stock picks from the top 10 YouTubers. Tomorrow, I'm also going to include all of the stocks that are under my buy under price at this time. All right, guys, we've got a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Stock Curry. I used to work as an analyst for some large investment banks, and now I analyze stock picks from the top 10 YouTubers. I then compile all of my analysis into a daily video that I post right here on this channel. I spend hours every day watching YouTube videos so that you don't have to. All you have to do is watch one video each day and you will get every single stock pick from the top 10 YouTubers. And all I ask in return is that you click that like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon so that you can get notified when I release my next video. In fact, I'll give you five seconds to do that right now. All right, before we get to today's stock picks, I just want to remind everyone that I am not a financial advisor and none of the YouTubers I analyze are financial advisors either. Today's stock picks are strictly for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who are wondering, I'm currently using the Webull desktop app. This is the app that I use in all of my videos and it is also the app that I use for all of my trading. All right, let's get to today's stock picks. First up is ABML. This is American Battery Metals Corporation and they're a lithium battery recycler. The Traveling Trader mentioned ABML late Thursday night as one of seven penny stocks to buy now on the dip. Personally, I do think this could go a little bit lower. I do have a buy under price of $3.30 and a deal buy in price of $3 and a stop loss price of $2.25. This is a long term hold, so no price target. Next up is ACIC. This is a SPAC they're merging with Archer, which is an American electric air taxi manufacturer. My financial friend listed ACIC as one of five space stocks that could double, even though it's not really a space stock. Anyway, Kin and Grace reminded us that the aircraft they are building are cheaper to build, cost less to operate, are safer, and are 100 times quieter than a traditional helicopter. I will remind you that I have a buy under price of $18, an ideal buy in price of $16.50, and a stop loss price of $12.95. Price target on the stock is $45. Next up is AITX. This is Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions. One of the companies they own is RAD, which is a commercial robotics company. The traveling trader mentioned AITX late Thursday night as one of seven penny stocks to buy now on the dip. Next up is ALPP. This is Alpine 4, they're a holding company. Their holdings include two American drone companies, one retail and one commercial. The traveling trader mentioned ALPP late Thursday night as one of seven penny stocks to buy now on the dip. Although I will remind you that I have a $7 buy under price, a $5.60 ideal buy in price, a $4.30 stop loss price, and a $20 price target. Next up is AMC. This is AMC Movie Theaters, and Smart Trader gave an update on AMC on Saturday. He said that now that the short squeeze is over, he took another look at the fundamentals and the future of the company. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the details, but Smart Trader's analysis was really good. So I recommend you watch Smart Trader's video that he uploaded Saturday. Now, technically, we do have clear support at $5.32. We can also see MACD histogram rising, which is an early sign of bullishness. I agree with Smart Trader that this should be a long term hold for you if you decide to get in. Smart Trader and I also came up with the same price points, so you'll be happy to know that we have strong consensus in our analysis. I'm going to give you a buy under price of $6, an ideal buy in price of $5.50, and a stop loss price of $5.20. We also both came up with the same price target of $11. Next up is AQMS. This is Aqua Metals and they're a lead recycling company. Richard Allen let us know on Friday that AQMS just announced a share offering, but we don't have any details on it yet. But what Richard Allen said next was really interesting. In the share offering noticed, AQMS announced that they are now 11% owner of a lithium ion recycling company. So AQMS is already focused on the future. They are doing lead recycling now and they own an 11% stake in a lithium ion recycler. That lithium ion recycler is Linico, the same company that is leasing out Aqua Metals manufacturing facility and allowing Aqua Metals to continue using the facility for free. If you want more information 
information about AQMS and Linico, I recommend you watch Richard Allen's videos. I will remind you that I have a $7 buy under price, a $6.50 ideal buying price, and a $5.50 stop loss price on AQMS. Next up is ASTI. This is Ascent Solar, and the traveling trader mentioned ASTI late Thursday night as one of seven penny stocks to buy now on the dip. I turned on the EMA for you so that you can see that it continuously bounces off of the 21-day EMA. Next up is CCIV. This is a SPAC rumored to be merging with Lucid Motors. Lucid Motors is an American EV company and a competitor to Tesla. Stockmo showed us that even though CCIV went down 8% on Friday, it's still up 81% over the past 4 days and 224% over the past 30 days. That said, Stockmo did say that Friday's sudden sell-off down below $52 at one point was strange. Personally, I think everybody was expecting news of a merger to come out this past week, and when we didn't get it, people sold not wanting to hold through the weekend. Even if CCIV retraced back to the 10-day EMA at around $47, I would not be concerned. I think CCIV went up too fast last week. Everything is still a rumor after all. Now regarding the sell-off, Keenan Grace let us know that a large institution purchased $41 million worth of CCIV at $51.11 on Friday. Institutional ownership is now over 54%. That is a really good thing because the institutional investors will vote, so we won't have the same kind of merger delays that we've seen on SBE. Also, ZipTrader reminded us that after we get the initial pop from the merger announcement, we will most likely see a sell-off as people take profits. And if you remember, Larry Jones said the post-merger sell-off will be a good time to buy in, and I agree. Next up is CLOV. This is Clover Health, and this is a Medicare Advantage provider. Dead Inside reviewed some of the short seller reports that have come out recently. He also showed an old video that he uploaded two months ago on the day that he lost over $200,000 on BNGO. It's a great video about why you should not sell when you're down, because BNGO has gone up 168% from when that video was produced two months ago, which means Dead Inside's position on BNGO is currently worth well over $1 million, assuming he's still holding. That means that if he had panicked and sold two months ago, he would have lost out on over $800,000 worth of gains. It's why I keep telling you guys not to panic on down days and to hold. So I really encourage you to go watch Dead Inside's video that he uploaded Saturday. Okay, back to CLOV. Dead Inside read through some of the short seller reports and said that the report actually makes him a lot more bullish on CLOV. The reason is because the CEO is fighting and is fighting hard against the short sellers. He really believes in the company and he's not going to give in to all of the negative press. Also, Chamath said that CLOV was the quote unquote greatest growth opportunity he's ever seen. All of that said, let's look at some price points on this stock. Dead Inside gave a $14 price target on CLOV, but I personally think that's a little low. I can see very strong support at $10.54, and CLOV bounced off of that support line twice, once on Thursday and again on Friday. So I'm 99% sure that this is the bottom for CLOV. I'm going to reiterate my buy under price of $11.50, my ideal buy in price of $10.50, and my stop loss price of $9.50. Next up is CSWC. This is Capital Southwest, and this is Chris Sane's best performing dividend stock. Coom Div is on March 11th, so if you want the dividend on CSWC, you need to make sure you own the shares before the market closes on March 11th. Next up is CTRM. This is Castor Maritime, and they are a commercial shipping company. Chris Sane listed CTRM as one of his easy money plays. That means he's looking for a 50% profit or a 10% stop loss. So at Friday's closing price of $1.23, Chris Sane's price target is $1.85 and his stop loss price is $1.10. Next up is CTXR. This is Sidious Pharmaceuticals. They're a pharmaceutical company. My financial friend mentioned CTXR on Friday. They have one drug in phase three trials and like all pharmaceutical companies, if they get FDA approval, the price of the stock should jump. They did get approved for fast track, so the NDA review time is only six months after the phase three trials are completed and their application is submitted. They just closed a direct offering on Friday, so any short-term downward pressure on the stock should be over. If you want more information on CTXR, 
I recommend you watch my financial friend's video that he uploaded Friday. Next up is FCEL. This is Fuel Cell Energy and they're a renewable energy company. Chris Sane said this was his largest loser this week with FCEL down 23% this past week. Does that mean it's time to sell? No, that means now is the time to buy. It actually bounced off of strong support on Thursday, so I'm pretty sure FCEL has bottomed out. I'm going to give you a buy under price of $21.50, an ideal buy in price of $20.50, and a stop loss price of $17. My price target is $30. Next up is GNUS. This is Genius Brands, and Chris Sane listed GNUS as one of his easy money plays. That means he's looking for a 50% profit or a 10% stop loss. So at Friday's closing price of $1.87, Chris Sane's price target is $2.80, and his stop loss price is $1.68. Next up is HOL. This is a SPAC, and they're merging with Astra which is an orbital space launch company. My financial friend listed HOL as one of five space stocks that could double. Next up is HVBTF. This is Hive Blockchain Technologies. They're a Bitcoin and Ethereum miner. Stockmo was surprised to see how well HVBTF performed over the past two weeks. On Saturday, he listed it as one of his best penny stocks to buy now. Next up is JMIA. This is Jumia, and they're an African e-commerce company similar to Amazon that covers the entire continent of Africa. ZipTrader said JMIA is getting into a nice discounted area. Now, JMIA is ZipTrader's baby, so I would encourage you to watch ZipTrader's video that he uploaded Friday evening because he discusses the upcoming Q4 earnings and the effect that could have on the stock price. Now, regarding the stock price going into earnings this week, I do see some continued downward pressure. We don't get to the next level of support until we hit $48. So this might be one you want to let continue to drop and then buy right before earnings are announced. Next up is MARA. This is Marathon Patent Group and they're a Bitcoin miner. Stockmo listed this as one of his best penny stocks to buy now. He said as Bitcoin continues to go up, MARA should continue to go up even higher. Next up is MAX. This is Media Alpha, and they're a digital advertising company with a focus on insurance companies. Keen and Grace let us know that while this is a good long-term hold, of the last six analysts who covered MAX, three rated a buy and three rated a hold with an average analyst price target of $42.25. Now, if you look at the technicals, you can see that it hit the 100-day EMA on many occasions. So there's a chance that this could drop all the way back down to $45. Because of that, we're going to give you a buy under price of $55, an ideal buy in price of $49, and a stop loss price of $38. Because this is a long-term hold, I don't have a price target for you. Next up is NIO, NIO. NIO is a Chinese EV manufacturer. Keen and Grace let us know not to be concerned about the recent drop in price on NIO. He said money is being sucked out of all of the other EV stocks and being put into CCIV right now. Next up is NPA. This is a SPAC and they're merging with Space Mobile, which is a space-based cellular network. My financial friend listed NPA as one of five space stocks that could double. This is the first time I've heard about NPA, and I've got to tell you, a lot of you don't know this, but my hobby is storm chasing. And while I'm storm chasing, I'm often entering rural areas where I lose cellular coverage, even with the cellular signal booster in my car. So I love the idea of using satellites to eliminate cellular coverage gaps. They are also promising broadband data speeds with low latency. This sounds a lot like Elon Musk's Starlink, but it's even better because Space Mobile will work with your current cell phone while Starlink requires a special antenna and setup. So not only am I interested in possibly investing in this company, I'm actually thinking about getting their services. Unfortunately, their satellites won't be ready for commercial use for another two to three years, so I'll try to be patient. Next up is OBSV. This is Obziba, and they're a pharmaceutical company. Keenan Grace let us know that the average analyst price target on OBSV has been raised to $16.67, with the most recent price target coming in at $28. However, Keenan Grace did say that he would not buy OBSV until it dips. The stock rallied Friday after Yahoo Finance released an article saying OBSV could double. 
Next up is ONTO. This is Onto Innovation and they're a semiconductor company. Stockmo bought ONTO on Thursday. This stock has been going up steadily since October of last year. This is a great momentum play that should continue with the worldwide semiconductor shortage happening right now. As you can see on the chart, this usually bounces right off the 10-day EMA, but does drop down to the 21-day EMA at times. I think you'll be able to buy this at a slightly lower price next week, perhaps around $63 or $64. If you do buy ONTO, this should be a long-term hold for you. Next up is ORLA. This is Orla Mining, and Chris Sane listed ORLA as one of his easy money plays, which means he's looking for a 50% profit or a 10% stop loss. He did give a buy under price of $3.80, so 50% up would be a price target of $5.70, and 10% down would be a stop loss price of $3.42. Next up is OTRK. This is Orchard Therapeutics, and the traveling trader mentioned ORTX late Thursday night, as one of seven penny stocks to buy now on the dip. Next up is OZON. This is Ozon Holdings, and they're the Russian version of Amazon. Zip Trader said he is holding this long term. This is a proven product that is in an undeveloped market, so the future outlook looks good. Next up is PLTR. This is Palantir, and they're a data analytics company. PLTR bounced Friday, just like I thought it might. Chris Sane mentioned it late Thursday night and gave a $45 price target. Zip Trader reiterated his $55 price target, and my financial friend uploaded a video Friday to let us know that he bought more PLTR on Friday. He also reviewed the company as a whole and went over their fourth quarter results. So if you're not familiar with PLTR and would like to learn more, I encourage you to watch my financial friend's video that he uploaded Friday. Next up is RIOT. This is a Bitcoin miner, and Larry Jones reminded us that when someone is selling a stock, someone else is buying a stock. When people are panic selling, you should be shopping. Larry Jones told us that he bought more RIOT on Thursday, and sure enough, it recovered 15% on Friday. That is how you make money in the stock market. You buy the dips. Also, Zip Trader reiterated his $95 price target on RIOT. Next up is SENS. This is Sensionix, and they're an implantable blood sugar glucose monitoring manufacturer. Richard Allen mentioned SENS late Thursday night. He said he bought SENS on the dip in his long-term portfolio. I will remind you that I also bought more SENS Thursday. Richard Allen thinks SENS could go up 1,000% this year. Next up is SIRC. This is Solar Integrated Roofing. They're a solar roofing and EV charging station company. The traveling trader mentioned SIRC late Thursday night as one of seven penny stocks to buy now on the dip. Next up is SOS. This is SOS Limited and they're a Bitcoin miner. Larry Jones lowered his price target slightly to $27. Next up is SPCE. This is Virgin Galactic and my financial friend listed SPCE as one of five space stocks that could double. Next up is TSLA. This is Tesla and they're an American EV manufacturer. Stockmo reminded us that Tesla made an investment in Bitcoin, which paid off. I will also let you know that Elon Musk just tweeted that the price of Bitcoin was too high, so there's a chance that he sold Bitcoin that Tesla bought and locked in profits. Despite the successful investment, the stock price is down. Stockmo said that he is holding his TSLA, which he won't be selling. The EV market overall is down, and that includes TSLA, NIO, LI, XPEV, GM, and others. Chris Sane said that his ideal buy-in price was $785, and TSLA is currently at $782. Again, if TSLA can hold its $777 support level, then it should bounce and start going back up. But if it closes below $777, TSLA could drop all the way down to $500. Next up is TSNP. This is Tesoro Enterprise, and they're merging with Humble. Humble is a mobile payment platform similar to Cash App or Square. The traveling trader mentioned TSNP late Thursday night as one of seven penny stocks to buy now on the dip. Next up is UAVS. This is Ag Eagle Aerial Systems. Keenan Grace likes this as a short term recovery play, but Zip Trader thinks UAVS is still overvalued. Now, personally, I can see that it has hit a couple of support levels here, so I don't think it will go down much further from where it is now. I'm going to give a buy under price of $11, and 
an ideal buy-in price of $10 and a stop-loss price of $7. I will also give you a price target of $15.75. Next up is USWS. This is US Well Services and they're a clean fracking company. Larry Jones mentioned that this is not performing well but stressed to be patient. Larry Jones says he only has 1,000 shares of USWS, so this is a small investment for him. Now let me pull up the EMA so that I can point something out to you. Notice how USWS bounces off of the 10-day EMA consistently. The 10-day EMA finished Friday at $1.83, so if you're looking for a buying opportunity on USWS, I'll give you an ideal buy-in price of $2.00. By the way, EMA stands for Exponential Moving Average. Most stocks bounce off of either the 10-day or 21-day EMAs while going up. Next up is VERU. This is VERU and they're a pharmaceutical company. VERU bounced off of support on Thursday. Larry Jones said he bought more VERU on Thursday. The stock went up 10% on Friday. Again, the name of the game is to buy low and sell high, so when the market is down, you need to be buying because that's how you make money in the stock markets. Next up is XONE, X1. This is a 3D ceramic and metal printer. This is my stock pick for the week. Unlike my stock pick last week, which was a long-term dividend play, this one is going to be a short-term play. I'm going to hold XONE until March 11th or thereabouts. XONE is presenting fourth quarter results on March 12th before the market opens, and I expect the stock to rise into earnings. They have almost no debt and plenty of cash, so this company is looking strong financially. Now in full disclosure, this got on my radar after Webull gave me this as one of my free stocks, so I haven't bought any XONE yet, but I do hold a few shares. This is a company that ARK Invest has in their ARKQ and PRNT funds, and for good reason. I also think this is a good candidate for ARK Invest's new ARKX Space Exploration ETF since they specifically said they would invest in 3D printers and they are already investing in XONE whose printers are already being used in the aerospace industry. XONE just received a contract from the US military to develop a fully operational, self-contained 3D printing factory container that can be deployed to active war zones or disaster relief areas. The container can be transported by land, sea, or air. The container will allow the military to 3D print broken ceramic and metal parts so that they can quickly repair equipment in the field. Rather than waiting four to six weeks to get parts, the military will be able to 3D print them within hours. X1's 3D printer can print using over 20 different ceramics and metals. This stock is already up quite a bit this year, but it still has more room to run. Last week, the stock sold off after they did a direct offering and also because of the overall market conditions. Now I think it's back to a good buy-in price. While I'm not 100% confident that XONE has bottomed out, I think it's close, with a bottom at around $39, which it hit on Thursday. So I'm going to give some pretty wide price points on the stock. I'm going to give a buy-in price of $48, an ideal buy-in price of $42, and a stop-loss price of $27. I should be able to tighten those up next weekend after we see what XONE does this week. For right now, I'll give a price target of $65, which represents a 47% upside from Friday's closing price. Oh, and after I did all of that analysis, Keenan Grace mentioned it as a stock to look into, although he did recommend it as a long-term hold. And I think that's not a bad idea either. Keenan Grace had a different analysis than I did though, so if you want a different take on this stock, I recommend you watch Keenan Grace's video that he uploaded Saturday evening. By the way, I will be buying XONE on Monday. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and got a lot out of it. Comment down below what your favorite stock pick is. And if you want to get some free stocks, sign up for Webull or SoFi using my links in the description below. When you sign up for Webull, they're going to give you two free stocks worth up to $1,850. When you sign up for SoFi, you're going to get $50 guaranteed in free stocks. It helps you guys out. It also helps the channel out. Finally, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you haven't already. I hope you have a lot of success trading, and I will see you tomorrow.